Hello everyone. I believe this is coming up now. We never know with streams. Never know when it starts up. Cool and excellent. Definitely we're all working now, rock and roll. Right, so welcome everyone to a first look at Wigman, a game I've been following for, for quite a little while now. And actually ended up getting in touch with the developer. A very big thank you to them. Because uh, here we are, trying her out. Now, they've just released the open world component to the game. Let's go see what this is all about. All right, we're going to start off. Um, probably going to regret this, but we're going to go night. Nice mid ground, right? right I'm just keeping an eye on stuff as we go because it's the first run. Uh, during a solar eclipse in the crypts. Okay, that's a lot of story. Which doesn't scroll. Uh, it's most of the troops more than over the days. Somewhere in some degree, the last age of man, a mysterious feeling hovered over Wigman's soul like an invisible cloud. It's uncertain answers that don't manage to alter the certainty of the forthcoming unknown event. The signs were clear. Oh, this is us. Very good for increasing my fish supplies, but what's that noise? It doesn't sound pleasant. First... Ah! Do we ASAD to move? Oh, okay. Yes, this is uh, an RPG with... A lot more to it than I thought. Maybe an ARPG. Rock and roll. Ah, shift to run. Steal everything. Ooh. An axe. Move the camera. Ah, right click, moving the camera around. Well, oh, you can put it on your back. Interesting. Oh, they have a mattock. But it's two-handed. Oh, 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 you suck. Fine, we'll use axe. Oh, no, I'm an archaeologist. We're going to be using the mattock. Look at the second set. Tutorial. Left click the mouse. Alright, take out the boar. Can we hold? Yes, we can. Ooh, no, you can't. Baseball moving to roll, tap space whilst. Okay. It's a little more involved than I thought it was. Rock and roll, though. What's this? Maybe like a shovel or something? I'll, uh... <laughs> How do we interact with this stuff? I have a mattock. I should be able to smash all the dirt required. Let's take a look. Uh, Cropsfield Reach, Intruders Defeated. Okay, we need to go defeat all the intruders to the crops field. We've only seen the one. We'll look inside, though. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I wonder... Yes, we can. Equip these... You know, access to inventory. is that? I am your guardian angel. That's a very dangerous may need help. Would you like me to come with you? Yes. Oh, pressing number one didn't work. Go on. So, as I said, this is uh, this is still in development. You can see it was 0.8. 
on the on the file so there might be some issues as we go Let's keep an eye out for stuff it's got a lot of first impressions hello hello Well, we have helped ourselves to merriment. Is this ours? to show us where the farming fields are. Nor how we interact with this. Aha! We have a minion. And a wolf. Timing is tricksy for this. <laughs> I suck with his weapon. Alright, middle mouse to parry. So apparently I suck with a mattock. <laughs> oh no, wrong button. Oh, we got it. I actually managed to parry something. And dodge. <laughs> okay, this is quite hard. But that is pretty cool. Oh, two at once. Oh my days. <laughs> Quickly, munch all the apples. <laughs> You don't do much. You're healing, but it's so slow. Right, well. Game on once more. Come here, Wolfie. little bugger. We don't seem to be able to block consistently. Like, it's still doing damage even though we're setting up that that block. Oh, come on. We struggled with two. Alright, let's go the other way. <laughs> We just got defeated on the opening section. Fine. Ah, but one does work on our hot bar. That's good. That does not want to block. Teensy bit inconsistent. A 
left click to death. Well, and so I want to see if there's a bit of a difference in like where you click as well. That's deceptive. Seems like we should be able to, to kind of get in there and mine it or something. Shiny and whatnot. If I had any idea what was going on there, go on. Ah, uh, some kind of runic. Ah. Square divided into four and a rune inside of one of the small squares. I've seen other stat uh, such statues. Do they have runes? I should check. Are they marked on the map? Like, do we know where said runes are? Ah, yes. Okay, yes. Yeah, so these are showing us where our rune stones are. Get in there. Figuring it out. It's the end result that matters after all. Not how quick you do it. So long as you get there eventually. Oh, hello. What's this guy doing? You're in our field, you are. And a ten of the wild boars, but who knows how many beasts. Told me the old house across the river one day. You will need some weapons when that time comes. Check the basement of the burned house. I still have a home in the basement key gave me. Peace and desire for lonely and peaceful life and disturbed by these unruly intruders. This was just the beginning, so the narrator is telling us from the past. Best times, it was the worst times. It was the age of wisdom, it was the age of foolishness. Hmm. Get the key to Wigman's basement. Apparently there's nothing around here. Gone a bit askew. It's hard to tell on that map. Like having it show up on here actually would have been quite useful as well. Throwing that one out there. Click on that. The heck is that thing? Little hermit crabs. Oh, nice. Got a ring. Plus two armor. I was trying to get a wind up there. Just didn't want to do it. So I was reading that this game apparently didn't play too well on keyboard and mouse. I kind of disagree. This seems fine. 
All right, maybe we'll try it with a keyboard. Sorry, uh, with a controller at another point. But yeah, it's just like original Diablo. Just click the living heck out of everything. Right, so we have two stones, and we know the house is over here, the burnt house. Right, let's just follow to the other stones and hope the wolves don't get us. We're going to deny. It's going to be a wee bit of a quick one tonight, but yeah, let's try this game. I think. Plus, it's dawned on me how few genres are on my channel. <laughs> like, entirely strategy. Not a bad thing. Oh, that's a lot of wolves. Okay, you. What? Don't double hit. Oh, nice. Got down to the one. Okay. What if we do less damage on green or something? Because I haven't noticed a huge difference in that. Was this the burn down house? This is like Invisa chest. Right, what we're gonna do actually is claim the four stones first. We now know where to go though. Oh, hello, that is a big old spider. Can hit this thing. Flipping neck. I haven't noticed any XP bar or anything, by the way. Or the wolf. Ah, uh, yep, yeah, you do less damage. Run away from the wolf. Oh, hello. They dropped a bag. The bag disappeared. Three down, one to go. This final. Final rune stone, and then we've got all four. I think that's the first one, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh. Got the one down there. Got that one. This one we had this one.
We've been to that one. Easy is good. If it's not copywritten. Aha! Right in front of us. There we go. For the one who will bear the sacred name, the invisible will always become visible. Combine the stones into one single rune. How do you do that? Tablet divided into four runes that can make invisible items visible. Ah! Invisa chest. We now have a solution. That was a fair bit of faffing around for that one. There it is. Do you use reshade for room two? I don't know what that is, so I assume no. Reshade. Yeah, so, sorry Byzantine, not too sure on that one, mate. Is it, I'm assuming that's some kind of mod. That was a nice little touch. Just had a little circle of view through the tree. More and more games are doing that. I wonder if it's part of the Unreal Engine. Because this is Unreal. I might have to have a little look-see. Beautiful home. I'll find myself before. Main basement was chilled, see what weapons are there. First off. Oh yes. We're gaining weight. 5.3 out of 8. Interesting. It's a very customizable graphics mod for Rome 2. No, oh, I'll have a little look into it. I kind of haven't. Oh, what did I what did I use on Rome 2? I mostly modded Shogun 2. But for Rome 2, I think I used like the, the water mod. That was a big one, and then improved textures, stuff for the map. And I think I got a couple of the character model ones because they had some some pretty good like aging ones or I might be thinking of uh, Attila on that one Whoa. block nothing I wonder if that's because we have no green left flee from the fleas actually does change the look of the character. That's always a good touch. Pretty cool. Okay, we definitely need some more stamina. And to be facing the right direction. I'm looking to try. I said I've got the the model I was going to try out on Warhammer 2. 
But also the, the new Rise of Mordor one. Like, that's looking like it's coming along quite nicely. Let's take a one-handed sword, thank you. What's our... Yeah, our speed's now actually being dropped. Minus 4%. Something about it, I should pay in a visit. Only the old gaffer, the last survivor of the Sinding clan. Teaches you cleave. Yes. Sweet. Alright, so we should go and talk to a master of some clan. Southwestern Shore. Kill the chief boar. Okay. Chief boar. <laughs> Nick Napoleon is garbage, mate. It is an amazing game. I love it. Uh, it's, it's, I think Napoleon and Empire were kind of niche. You need to be into that period a little and kind of enjoy the style a bit. Then, where am I? On this one. Okay, because we're running around for the boar's den. How about the secret door? Southwestern Shore. Uh, ooh, hello, that's a lot of spiders. I came out of nowhere. It's to the caverns. Fleeing would be good. I don't want to mess with them. Final gaffer. It's like zero improvement in damage. I honestly, out of all of the DLCs for uh, any Total War, sorry, not just Rome Total War, I've got to say I don't consider any of them to be particular musts. There it is. Oh, come on, was that it? We're already out of stamina now. There we go. Give us the little ones. Chip away at them. While we have no green, it's going to just be able to smash away at our health. We'll make a necklace to remind us of the fight. Black Sea, so I can make a sub mod for 1100. Eh, fair enough. Well, it's always good if you can link it into to what you're doing elsewhere. Nice, small potion. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I haven't... 
I'd, I'd say pretty much all of them up until actually up until room two i think is the last uh room two sorry is the first one where you don't automatically get all of them like in the war chest or collector's edition or whatever it may be and as such like all the previous all the previous versions i'd kind of recommend playing the expansions but when it came to room two i've done wrath of sparta I've done the Empire Divided, and of course we're doing Rise. They're fun. They are good, but I don't I wouldn't consider them like absolute necessity. And so I got them on sale. <laughs> I have to check the surroundings of Wigman's house. On the southwestern shore of the Tower Lake, about the key of the seal. Uh, here's the legend. Okay, so we need to make a necklace from all of the different people around us. Nice if we could track them a little. I wish they made it East and West Huns instead of the Aurelian Age. I'm trying to think for, um, what's it called? Attila. What are the mods they have for that? So I know they have uh, Age of Chivalry. That's the only one I can think of. Come on, I'm trying to actually block with this. It's just not having it. Hey, we finally blocked. Oh, I feel accomplished. All right, let's go beat up the big spider. Okay. Oh, come on. Turn around. Don't fight directly in front of you. What's this little guy? <laughs> what the little bug dude? Not happening. Okay, I think I'm starting to get this lunge down a bit. I have a touch more health. And of course, we drag them all. Well, let's use this to our advantage. Ooh, we just got critted. We are somehow alive by a pixel. We're resting. Oh, I'm leaving coffee. Bizarre. I 
thing I will be interested to see in, actually, is what they do in terms of DLC for Warhammer 3, considering it's supposed to be the last one. What are they going to do to develop the series from there? Oh no, you are over-encumbered. Oh no, that gives us stamina. Alright, there we go. Have to use the axe. Oh. Oh, we do have a stat point we can use. Awesome. Energy restoration increases attack and mitigation. Constitution, carry capacity by each point increases health by two and carry capacity by eight. Um, increases physical damage. I think we need to do constitution just so we can up. Yeah, the amount we can hold. Start getting some better equipment on us. Excellent. Just in there. We go now. Yeah, it's fair, mate. Go cool, I'm only on for a short while myself anyway. Just wanted to check out a brand new game. But cheers for stopping by. Didn't have a chance yet, but I will have a check on the old Discord to go through. I noticed you had a, a couple of months for Rome too. I've checked on. Check the rest soon. Have a good night, man. Peace. Oh, mate, you messed up. And this is, like, super slow to come back. Swing wildly. up the armor oh my days you have separate pauldrons that is amazing that is something i've wanted in a game ever since i played world of warcraft just for the stupid levels of customization <laughs> you know what the disappointing thing is though your shoes come together missed out on it mate I was expecting this to be all spiders and we'd find like, you know, the spider king or something. I don't want to venture too far because the wolf's den was uh, back in the first starting area. It's not huge. Well, so we're going to run back. So it looks like there's something over here. So we can go a bit deeper in. Yeah, yeah. I figure if there's an actual ink crop, there might be something. I'm back. <laughs> cool. Fair enough, mate. Let's take on good old Wolfie. 
Face the right direction. It should be automatic. We got a wolf tail. Worth it. Come here, mate. Oh, that was bad timing on my end. <laughs> that was very bad timing. <laughs> one day we'll get it. All right, spam the ones. One, 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 one. It's a one-handed sword, and it's just dawned on me. Our power attack is a two-hander. Hmm. Curious one. All right, this takes us to the, the Lonely Valley. It is not that lonely. That's a lot of wolves to spam someone with. That did nothing. <laughs> you cannot use it during battle. <laughs> A mighty cleave did absolutely nothing. <laughs> we pinned to the wolf's dead and we didn't find the great big bad wolf. We need to find a tooth. Take a razor from a boar, a claw from a spider, ear from a goblin, tooth from a troll. Okay, I think maybe we'll come across them as we go. Let's go to weapons of the night. Because for this, we should move around near our house. Camera position starting to annoy me. I really want to like tilt it a little more. Maybe I've just grown accustomed. I suppose it's, it's the other way around. I'm used to it being either higher or lower. Stains of blood. They took our sheep. We have checked, but unrest is now afoot. Remains of the sheep. Follow the trail to find the wolves. We've just been to the wolves' den. Beat the game to it. These are actually quite hard to see. Like, they're just a little out of place from the light. There it is. There it is. But yeah. All right, you. Stop staggering us. We need more stamina. Please, 
these bulls keep coming from. Spamming them all. Wolves Den reached. Okay, so I guess we have to go into the Wolves Den again. Here we are. Stagger. Off to find the pack leader. We already cleared this den, so I'm not too sure what we're going to find. Yeah, we already, we've already got it. Uh, puts up a little sign saying, whoops. Oh, hello. Who's this? The wolves are back. There it be. Alright, we're gonna heal up. He has big shiny blue eyes. Oh no, there's a puppy. Alright, let's about begin. And we will eventually face the right direction. Hail mighty stagger. <laughs> yeah, the interrupt is brutal on this. Right, disengage. It just knocked out our cleave straight away. Healers. From time to time. <laughs> You inconsistent angel. Right, come on. Not very sharp, but still usable. So that's two damage. This is one damage. Why does it feel so useless? Right, you. Alright, we're trying to roll out of the way. No, don't actually flee, because then your health recovers, and we're right back in the same spot. Excellent. Staggered it. Oh my god, run, there are spiders. Flee. <laughs> Bring around the rosies with giant green spiders. This is not good. Healers, you darn guardian angel. Thank you. Healing necessary. Flipping egg. Do your job, mate. We're half minced here. Alright, takes a bit of a chance to rest again. Still miles off the next level. I guess we had an XP bar somewhere. Alright, it's claimed our tooth though. Just realized we do have some soft bread.
See, these guys are nice. They kind of back off after a bit. Like, you get a bit of a cheeky hit in, then they flee. A bit of a, bit of a chance. we unlocked some more that's the big bad nasty okay let's go see what we have on the other sides then we'll uh report for big bad nasty slaying duties after oh you cheeky dodger Oh, he's, this one's good. I'm impressed. Got a knee guard. <laughs> I mean, I'm looking forward to like actually getting into proper armor because then, yeah, you're going to have some cool sets building up each time. Tanking that damage to take those out. Grab the last knee pad. Then money. I should get like a bow or something just to try and pull these one at a time. <gasps> they locked us in. Hello. That's a great sword. Let's see if it uh, actually is great. Well, it's two-handed. Wear a shield on your back slot. And provide extra armor. Why can I never hit anything with that attack? Oh my days, we're getting minced again. Keep him away. Oh, getting minced. Yep, can't use those during combat. Heal us, darn use. Alright, I'll have to do. Oh! Well, it pretty much brings us up uh, to the hour, though. Uh, I don't think we... Well, we had an autosave. Go on, what does it autosave us? Like, on the entrance? Really? I think this is just before we took on... Yeah, yeah, it's just before we took on them. So it, it saved us at the entrance to each spot. Uh, can't do it in combat. Oh, let's clear forward. Throw a save in. We'll call it there. That's actually pretty tricky taking on that big old spider. <laughs> Might, um... Let's have a quick go. Yeah, because people said this is apparently better trying to do the combat. Oh, okay. Doing the combat with a controller. So we're now playing this on a keypad. Uh, keypad. On a control pad. Let's just figure out A, back. Directional pads do nothing. Right analog stick. What's Y? Big swing. B. 
basic swing. Alright. Interesting. So B, we're doing these broad strokes. X, we're going for sort of more single target. A's back. Y's hit. That's already given us more options. Go on. Let's try this. I think we just about stun locked it. Hmm. So I'm thinking, do this with a, a control pad. If you a control pad, yeah. If you've got one. Yeah. So B is a swipe. Nope. <laughs> Maybe we're a little bit better on the controller. Go on. Maybe we're a little better on the keyboard, sorry. Either way. Well, and that's one to, to give a bit of a try of. So this was just a, a bit of a special one, as I said. It was checking out a game. Uh, I've been chatting with the de developer about. The aim is to go and give it a bit, a bit more of a run through. and Maybe come back on the channel for another shot. When we've progressed a little further. And uh, get some nice stuff done pre-release. But, yeah. Oh, no, I said it'll be a quick one for today. Uh, I can only jump on for about an hour. But, uh, have to do what I have to do. Cheers for stopping by. Cheers for checking out. And, uh, don't worry. We will defeat General Fluffers again. After the big bad nasty. Till then, as always, peace out.